Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Combs Design in our SketchUp Basics tutorials. We got the introductions out of the way last time, so let's jump right in. Here is the box we made last time. And you'll see we have the Select tool selected. And just to recap last time, we can hit O and we can orbit around our box here. Now, this is great if you just want to make a simple box, but when you begin to make more advanced shapes that have some openings, you need to take a few extra steps, and we're going to introduce our fifth basic tool. So I'm going to hit undo, and we're going to go back a step to where we were in lesson one, and we have this simple box defined. Now, in this example, I want to make a rectangle that has four walls that have a defined depth on them, but I don't want a bottom or a top to this part. And we're gonna do that with the fifth tool called the tape measure. We can hit T on our keyboard and we get this tool that looks exactly like a tape measure. We can use this in a couple of ways. One of the most common ways is to click a point and we can drag over to our other point and we can see that we have a measurement of 10 inches. Another very useful way to use this tool is to take it, we'll select out of it and uh, start over, and we can go over to a line, click on the line, and we can drag out and create this guideline that runs parallel to the line we selected. And you can see I have this red arrow that shows that I'm in line with the red axis. And conversely, if you wanted to do a line that was on the Z axis away from it, you can snap to the blue line, or to the blue axis, rather. And just like our lines in any other shape, we can define this with the keyboard. So I want this line to be half an inch this direction from the line I selected. I can do this two ways. I can either select 0.5 or enter 0.5. You'll see in the bottom it says 0.5, and I can hit enter. Or, like I'm going to do on this second line here, I can click, drag it along the green so it is parallel with the line we selected. And you can put in simple math into the length as well. I can hit 1 slash 2, which is the fractional equivalent of a half, and I can hit enter. And we end up with that same half inch distance. What we're representing here is this original box we created are the outside boundaries of what we're creating. And we're pulling these guides in a half inch to represent half, in, half of an inch of material. And these guidelines are going to start representing the inside boundary of our box. So we can select our third line here, drag it, enter 0.5, come over to our fourth line, click, drag it in, Select point 0.5, and now we have four guides. Next, we can hit L for our line tool, or select it over here in the toolbar. And instead of defining our measurements with the keyboard, we're going to use points that are defined in our drawing. So we can click here where these lines meet. It's called an intersection. We can click, and we can drag a line wherever. But in this case, we want to drag it to this intersection. We will hit or we will just click rather. And with the line tool, it stays selected. We can come over here, click at this intersection, click at this third intersection, and we can connect back at this fourth intersection. We will hit space to go back to our select tool. If you remember in the first lesson, anytime we connected points and we filled in an area, it created a face. That same thing applies when you have a face within a face. So back here on the computer, you can see now I can either select this outside area or this inside area. In this case, we don't need this inside area since we want this to just be four sides of this rectangle. So we can hit delete and now we're just left with this outside face. We're done with our guidelines and just like normal lines, we can select them and hit delete and go through and delete these unused guides. We can also easily hide these uh, in our menu function, but we won't get into that just yet. And that would be used if you would need to hide them now, but come back to them later. 
We will use our push-pull tool by selecting P, or over here on the left in the toolbar. We can select this face, we can click it, and we can drag it up. If we wanted this box to be four inches tall, like in our last example, we just enter four on our keyboard, hit enter, and just like that, we have a box with no bottom or top. We just have the four walls and we have defined those lengths. This is a great use for using the tape measure tool to define boundaries and make guides to make more complex shapes instead of just a box. We can begin to hollow out parts or simply just measure point to point. That's all for this episode on Combs Design. I'll catch you guys on the next one.